Hey guys, another video about uh, making depth maps from uh, single images. It's called uh, monocular depth estimation. So anyway, thanks to my good buddy Gordon, who, who alerted me to this new uh, new thing on GitHub. So user is uh, comp photo which is the the computational photography lab somewhere in British Columbia at Simon Fraser University and this is the name of the depository anyway so boosting modo monocular depth and this is the paper so this is from 2021 and if you read this paper basically what they are doing is that they are using uh, Midas the now very well known monocular depth, depth estimation uh, uh, software based on uh, neural networks CNNs but they are do they're doing it at different resolution so as to capture details and you can see that in the pictures they are catch capturing details so here for instance the the arm Midas would not be able to capture that which is here when you when you zoom in you can s clearly see it so they, they are able to, to catch a lot of detail so let's get started so there is uh Google Collab notebook. So let me let me click on that. Okay, so here it is. So here we are in uh, GitHub. And here I am in uh, Google Collab. So I, I signed in and this is uh this is what you start with. So here go into the GitHub tab and here I'm gonna just copy paste so copy paste here search and it should show up so here it is and the instru instructions are very simple you just put put your sample image in okay so let's look at the files you click on that icon files so it's going to start a runtime uh, just make sure it's a gpu so change runtime type if it's not gpu put it as a gpu so here it is so i don't have to do anything and let's see let's see let's see it's going to create the inputs uh, inputs and outputs directory but you can also i don't know what happens if you just run it but let's just so that i can show you how to do stuff on the uh, uh, on that file system on, in uh, google collab so here what you do is you right click and you create a new folder i'm just going to create them so inputs Okay, and same thing for the other one, outputs, and I'm going to put stuff, so what I'm going to do, so here I'm pretty much all set uh, to start, what you do is that then you go into that uh, in inputs directory and you upload your uh, pictures, and then you're going to run this and in the outputs it's going to it's going to put the depth maps in there okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go on pixabay and get a bunch of pictures and uh, i'll be uh, right back okay so i'm back from pixabay so now i'm going to go into the input directory and here you say upload so those are the pictures four of them okay so now they should sh okay so they are, they are uploading right now so now they should be in there okay 
So uh, yeah, yeah. So now you're ready to run the whole thing. There's only two cells. So run time, run all. And it's going to take some time because he has to load all kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is that we're, we're going to get the depth maps and then I'm going to use a uh, depth player to see how good they are. Because they may be pretty, but they may not be that good. So I don't know how long it takes. So maybe... Maybe I'll see you around when it's done. Okay, so it's done. So f uh, the four pictures, it took about uh, I don't know, two minutes, maybe two, three minutes. That's it, two minutes. Okay, so anyway, uh, they're going to show up like this, PNG files, same, same name, but in the outputs directory. So what you can do is that you can just, uh, you should be able to download the whole thing. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see if you can download. Maybe not. Maybe you have to go one by one. So download. I already did, did that. And I've loaded them into GIMP. So let's look. So this is my the first picture I used. Let's look at the dev map. It looks pretty crisp, let's put it that way. Uh, it looks like it, it, it got it, it got the, uh, the fence correctly. I mean, kind of correctly. That's a tough one. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is this view of uh, that intersection in uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. So let's look at the depth map. So this is a that has a lot of potential detail. Wow. That's interesting. That looks good. I mean the detail is amazing. Really good. That's a good one. I mean, yeah, that's good. Pretty good. I mean, you got some mistake probably in that lamp post. It should be the same depth, everything. But uh, I mean, the people, very good. So let's move on. This one, the famous meeting picture. Uh, yeah, it's good. Nothing spectacular. I think Midas V3 would probably do the same thing pretty much. Okay, next one. Alright. Yeah, so you get you get a lot of detail. I mean the dev maps look very pretty, but uh, are they accurate? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put them to the test in dev player which uh, enables you to visualize the depth maps. So let me set that up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is depth player, depthplayer.googlecapital.com, depthplayer.googlecapital.com. Choose file. So you pick the reference, depth, this one, and then I click on point cloud, create model, see what happens. I mean, the images are uh, like 1920 pixels by something. So they might be a little bit on the bigger side. Okay. I mean, there are mistakes, but globally, Globally, it's kind of correct. 
kinda. Okay, next one. So next one is Japan. So this one is the depth. Yeah. So point cloud create model. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. So, the next one. Next one is oh, yeah, the meeting. So, open depth. On cloud, create model. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that this method methodology is basically what uh, photo Photoshop is using in their uh, uh, what's it called neural depth blur filter. That's what they do. Uh, they use like Midas at different resolution. The same idea. Oh uh, yeah, so that's good. That looks very good. Excellent. Yeah, very good. That's a good one. Okay, L last one. Last one is what is it? Oh yeah, street view. All right, let's see. what you can do also is uh, load them up into uh, Facebook as a Facebook 3D photo and just uh, post it uh, to be viewed by uh, 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 only I mean to be viewed only by you that way you can check the quality before you make it available to the world so yeah I mean for Facebook 3D that that's perfect I mean, here it's kind of extreme when I turn like this. But yeah, I mean, uh, my conclusion is that uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. Whether it's better than Midas version 3, I'm not sure, sure. Um, because you get more details, but more details, but are the depths at those details correct? That's another question. Uh, and I think they are using uh, Midas version 2, they are not even using Midas version 3. So maybe we're going to get another version soon, that's, uh, that's uh, slightly better. We'll see. Okay, I think I'm going to conclude here. Um, yeah, if you like these kind of videos, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I will try to uh, to make more. Uh, so uh, I'll see you around. Bye bye.